What do you do when you have a bunch of overgrown seed potatoes? You throw them in your compost to grow. Guten yardening, everybody. Last season, we tried to grow sweet potatoes in a modified Roostal compost bin. And the way we did that was to create some sweet potato seedlings. That's right, we potted up our slips in some soil and let the roots develop before we planted on top of our compost. We added a nice deep layer of hay to our compost, opened up a circle, placed our sweet potato seedlings inside, and we let them grow. But we had two main problems. The first problem was the voles. Lots of vole damage for this crop. And the second problem was that over time, the hay decomposed, which means the level of the hay fell and we didn't come back in and add more to it. But when we came back out to our compost bin this season after a zone five winter, that hay had mostly decomposed. It had really broken down nicely. And that got us thinking, if sweet potatoes didn't work all that well, what about potatoes? We have a bunch of these old potatoes that you could just throw in your compost and let them compost, but our compost runs a little bit cooler. And so we thought, why not take a variety? And this is a wide variety of potatoes and pull out some of that composted hay and just lay them across the surface. Just give a nice planting. So instead of just throwing our potatoes in to compost, we're getting a no risk planting of potatoes. And today I'm gonna to show you how they're developing and I'm gonna add another layer. These compost bins are in full sun by about 11 a.m. and they keep that sun until about seven o'clock at night. So we've got about eight hours of nice sun here in the summer. Now this isn't the first time we've tried to grow old potatoes. Last season we took some of our really old fingerling potatoes and grew them in some of our grow bags and the results were pretty good, especially considering the fact that Otherwise, we would have gotten nothing and just composted them. And so we think, and you can see and be the judge for yourself, we think that there's absolutely no risk and only a possible really nice benefit to planting our potatoes in our compost. So let's go down here and take a look at the medium. I said we had a lot of decomposing hay and it really is broken down quite nicely. We have added a little bit of compost on top of it as well, but we've taken and I'm just getting right down in here. We've taken all that was left over from last season and layered it right on top. So initially all we did was to spread that variety of old fingerling and other potatoes around the surface and spread a layer of that old decomposed hay on top. And then we added that secondary layer of some of our compost. And you can see a couple of things about the health of these potatoes. For one thing, they are a deep green color. To me, whenever I see potatoes, the greens that are this deep green, I think that is a nice and healthy potato. Secondly, this development, this massive development, this one, for example, is about 10 inches tall. These are mostly, I would say about six, seven inches tall. This growth has shot up in the past seven days. I mean, it's amazing how quickly, once these potatoes get started, how quickly they really develop. And this is a majority of the potatoes that we planted that are coming right through. Actually, you can see one of them at the surface here, and I'm gonna pick it up. You can see this one wasn't covered up by anything, but this is an example of what we planted. And so what I wanna do today, in addition to mounding this, and we're gonna mound it up with this medium right here. Now this is a mixture, again, of that compost and mostly broken down hay. You can see that winter and that time really did a job. You got a couple pieces here still together, but this is what we're gonna use really to mulch in to hill these potatoes. And just like we talked about in our video on hilling, there are some very important benefits to mounding that growing medium around the stems of your potatoes. And so we're gonna do that. And then wherever we see an opening, we're gonna add another layer. So I've got some spots. Here's a spot right here. I see some spots here in between each one of these. So where there's an opening, where there's availability, we'll layer our potatoes. And so we'll get multiple layers growing in this compost. I gotta tell you, I am super excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Do us a favor, and if you're not already subscribed to our channel, but you're enjoying our content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. And if you've been enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button and let us know. 
All right, I'm gonna come in here and mound around each of these. It's easy to do by hand in this small of an area as our compost bin. And one thing I know about compost, especially our homemade compost, where we're throwing in all of the scraps of the organic vegetables that we grow here, this is some healthy stuff. This is really nutrient dense. And so we're gonna add it all around. In the past, with what we've grown in our compost bins, and we grow quite a bit in our bins, we don't really have to feed them because of all the nutrients in here. Now I want you to do me a favor. If you garden at the top of your compost bins, I'd love for you to let us know in the comments. And if you've grown potatoes in your compost before, we'd love to know how that turned out for you. All right, as I'm wrapping up the mounding here, that's when I'm gonna start coming in and finding my open spots for my potatoes. And this is gonna be a really simple process because all we're doing is picking a spot, just like so, right in the middle of all the other greens and giving it a little bit of cover. And then as that starts to develop, we'll come back through. And what we're gonna do at the very end, once all of our sprouts are up and at a good height, we'll come back through and we're gonna add a nice thick layer of our spoiled hay. And that's going to prevent any sunlight from getting down here. We want to keep everything below the leaves in the dark to allow for maximum potato development. You know, in the end, we're still going to call this a modified root style potato bed because most of the material that we're using is that decomposed hay. And yes, there's some compost mixed in, but that's why it's modified and not just a traditional root style. What I'd like to know from you is how many times have you had excess seed potatoes or potatoes that you've just thrown out and could you potentially use this as a method you've got some spoiled hay you've got a compost bin and you could put it in the top and see how it grows you can already tell with the development of these potatoes that things are looking pretty good so we think this is definitely a viable option to reduce waste and to gain you more production. All right, there's the end product now of the hilling and then the planting. We've got a potato over here, here, another one here. So we've got about seven additional potatoes that I was able to fit in this bed. And you can see we've hilled up to about three or four inches above. And again, as that starts to develop, as our new ones come up as well, then we'll continue that mounting process and then eventually add that layer of hay. But you can see this is a really, really nice medium everything broken down, I think we're in for some success. And I think we're gonna see some substantial growth here in the next couple of weeks. We would love to hear your thoughts on this video. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.